Scrona joins us on Mark Rogers TV from uh, Radio Row at SEC Media Days in Hoover, Alabama. Uh, Jim McElwain, despite winning two SEC Eastern Division championships, has had to swim among the Sharks late in the season against uh, Florida State and Alabama, gotten blown out in those games two years ago against Michigan. A lot of people think he's swimming among Sharks uh, on the Internet, but no, I that's see what, not Jim I McElwain. I see what you did there. I, I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> and he had to feel – I didn't – actually, what's funny is I try to cover SEC football just about as much as anyone, but I've got to go to guys like you that are right there uh, amongst it. But I didn't know anything about that until seconds ago. I'm, I'm surfing for stuff to talk about here and set you up a little bit, to, and I just came across that. So uh, that wasn't uh, necessarily uh, something that he wanted to talk about at SEC Media Days, but uh, you take it away in regards to McElwain's situation in Florida. Jim McElwain was not pleased yesterday being asked about uh, the shark photo and also sort of the ancillary details with the LSU rivalry, which really was the hot button yesterday because uh, recently Florida has announced that, that LSU is their homecoming game. So that on the heels of all of the discourse last year with, um, with Hurricane Matthew, the ongoing spat with LSU and Florida over who's really DBU, uh, last year, if you recall, on field before the LSU-Florida game, there was a skirmish. Leonard Fournette wasn't going to play after that skirmish when it got in his game uniform and decided he was going to play. This, this rivalry has been ratcheted up in the last three or four years. That's, that's undeniable. It's, the, this is a, a great SEC rival. It's, it's not the Iron Bowl. It's, it's not uh, – it's not – Georgia, Florida. I, I don't even think that it's, it's Georgia, Auburn. But at times, this rivalry has reached a fever pitch. Notably, when you know in the 2000s, when Florida and LSU were, were flip flopping national titles in six, you know, uh, 06, 07, and 08. But it, it feels like right now it's at the the greatest period of animosity in this rivalry that I can certainly remember. And that was a bunch of what Jim McElwain was asked about yesterday. His team this year, honestly, Mark, isn't that dissimilar from LSU. They, both teams lost eight starters on defense. Uh, both teams lost dynamic playmakers on offense. Both have returning veteran quarterbacks that could be pushed by younger players. I, I think these two teams could end up having very similar seasons as well. 